Hey guys, it's Kim and I am back with another comic book haul today. I am so excited because I finally managed to pick up the comics for this week yesterday. I'm going to be going through today last week's comics and this week's comics. But because I picked them up yesterday, I've only read like 50% of this week's comics, but I will tell you guys what I thought of the ones that I have read. In other news, I went to go see Rogue One the other day and it was freaking amazing. Like I'm talking on par with The Force Awakens, possibly even better than The Force Awakens. So I'm hoping to do a uh, spoiler review of that. So if you have not seen the film, you're going to have to watch it before you watch the video. And hopefully I'll have it out early next week, so in a few days. And also next Friday is my last day of work and I get a two-week break. I have been waiting for this break for literally six months and I finally have it. But what I am adamant on doing is of course making more videos, making more content, and of course reading a hell of a lot more because I have like literally almost not touched any trade in a very long time. But because I'm going to be making more videos, more content in a two week break I have, I want to know what you guys want to see because obviously I can do reviews, I can do other things, I can do a lot of comic -y videos, but what do you guys want to see? I'm asking you. Leave me a comment below. But all that aside, let's get into the comic book haul. So these comics are from last week, so let's start with of course the Super Family. I've got Super Man issue number 12, which the series is just amazing and nothing I can fault on it. And I have a Batman number 12. So if you follow me on Goodreads, I posted, well, a sort of review of this. It was only like a sentence, but I basically said that this was the last issue I'm going to pick up because I'm just really done with this series. I, I like the first sort of three, four issues and then it just died for me. I mean, I, I was picking it up because I was like, well, I'm going to pick up Batman and it'll get better eventually. It just hasn't. It, this is the 12th issue and I'm just so bored out of my mind. This one was just such a weird stream of consciousness. I just did not care. I did not care about anything between him and Selena, you know, the feelings, oh my god, you know, we're one and the same. Like, I just seriously don't have the time to spend reading things like this if it's just going to continue it almost felt like a filler and I just don't want to read a comic book series that's going to be like that when there's so many other different ones that can take its place because I've got so many ones I want to read and it's just, you know, it, it's, it's cutthroat my list. So unfortunately I'm going to say goodbye to Batman so I won't be picking this up anymore. And next we have, this is Frostbite, issue number three. So I did say in my last haul that I accidentally got sent number two, not number three. I'm just showing this because I received, obviously received this after the whole video. This is the cover of Frostbite. So I have been talking about this series for a little while. It's basically a post-apocalyptic series about sort of an ice takeover. Everything's frozen and people are trying to survive. So this is, on the front is one of the Ice Queens from the series, which is, uh, this is just a really, really good series. Next we have Shade, The Changing Girl, issue number three. I really had my doubts about this series, but I'm just, I'm just picking it up all the time because I'm finding it really, really interesting. It's just so weird and quirky. And out of all the DC's young animal ones that I'm looking at, this one is the one that I've stuck with. Like, I did try Mother Panic, I didn't really like it, but this one has, has just it's just keeping me coming back every time. So if you haven't started reading this, just pick up the first issue and see how you go, but I absolutely love it. Next, we have Predator vs. Judge Dredd vs. Aliens, issue number three. All of my three favorite things in one comic, you just can't go wrong, highly suggest. And lastly, for last week's pickups, I decided to pick up Murder Crush, issue number one. This really caught my attention because of the plot and also the cover. The cover really pops me. If I could describe this comic to you, I would say it's it's kind of like a futuristic motorbike version of the Fast and Furious crossed with pod racing. I feel like that's... <laughs> That's a pretty accurate description if you've read it. I did really enjoy the series. I'd like to see where it goes in the future because there's, I feel like there's so many different avenues that they have yet to explore. So I suggest picking this one up, seeing how you go. This is Motor Crush issue number one. So that is all the comics for last week. Now we have the comics for this week, which you guys have probably already picked up. But if you haven't, I have a lot of really good ones that I picked up that I will highly suggest. First, we have Action Comics 969 came out this week. The series is great, nothing to fault. Have not read yet, but I mean, I know it's going be great because it, it just hasn't it hasn't sucked <laughs> action comics hasn't sucked you know it's been a while since i've been able to say that so woohoo then we've got new superman issue number six i did say this series sort of dropped a little bit but i feel like 
now with that reveal it's picking up a little bit more steam and Wonder Woman is on the front of this I'm wondering if this is like the actual Wonder Woman or not because I have not read yet but this series is really fun really different and I'm enjoying it at the moment next we have Supergirl issue number four now this is one that even if it sucks I will continue picking up which is you know kind of contradictory because I just said that Thing about Batman about last week's pickups but Supergirl's only on issue four right now so I'm hoping that it's just gonna get much much better I wish it was a little bit darker but we'll see how we go because I feel like the age range that they're trying to cater to is obviously young female adults which is still me but I like other things as well so this is Supergirl issue number four then we have Wonder Woman issue number 12 this series is great I mean there's not much more I can say. It's fantastic. This is a variant issue. I always try to get the variant covers of the DC releases because they, ju they just look so much cooler. So this is Wonder Woman issue number 12. And now we have a few independent ones that I picked up that I have managed to read. So yay. We have Murder Girl issue number two. I did talk about this one, I think one or two videos ago, I picked up the first issue and I kind of felt like it was like a one-off thing. Like I didn't know they would continue it but they released issue number two so I picked this one up it's still a little weird but I feel like I'm more developed into the world like I feel like I'm slowly getting told about what's happening around me which is useful because you you kind of got the feel that it was like a post-apocalyptic fallout world but then there was sort of cartoon aliens in it as well so it was very sort of you know, pick from all different sort of things. So it was very confusing to place what was, what they were trying to go for. I did enjoy this second issue. So I'm hoping to continue picking this one up and seeing how it goes. Next one I picked up, which I'm most excited about was Rockstars issue number one. This was so, so good. Like the cover just told me it, you should buy this. Like the cover told me that. And then um, I just, the story is fantastic. It's basically about this main guy who has sort of a psychic sixth sense about this particular case that he's, well, he's not a police cop or anything, but he has this sense and he wants to basically solve this murder case that's happening. But it's not just any old murder case. He specifically gets sidekick impressions or whatever from rock star or rock music killings. So I feel like this comic has a very creepy sort of vibe, but it's also sort of fun and interesting. So I would definitely suggest picking this one up and having a try because I absolutely loved it. Five out of five. This next issue I picked up on a whim. <laughs> I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it or not, but I just thought I really wanted to read a little bit more about it. So this is Cinderella Serial Killer Princess issue number one. So I've been wanting to read a lot more grim fairy tale from Xenoscope because I have read a little bit of Robin Hood and I absolutely loved that character. So I decided I haven't read any Cindy before, so I might try it. It's very gory, and if you love gore, scantily clad females chopping people up, then this is the comic for you. I still liked it. It was just very different. Well, I don't know why I thought it would be different. It's about a serial killer. But anyway, I, I did enjoy it. I think it's really nice to have something like this on the side that's so different to everything else that you're reading because it just feels like you can just have fun with something that's just completely ridiculous and over the top, which this is. And lastly, I was very excited about this one. This is Shadows on the Grave by Richard Corbin, a horror series. Oh my God, count me in. I was, as soon as this was going to come out, I was like, yeah, I'm on that. So I really, really enjoyed this series. The only thing that I did not like, and that's just on me, was that I didn't particularly like the art because, and wait for it, it wasn't very attractive. Yes, I like attractive art. I may be superficial, but I very much like colors and art that pops. But for this, it did have a very horror feel. So it did go with the story, which sort of worked, but the art kind of made you feel on edge. So I guess that was all part of it to sort of get you into this atmosphere that makes you feel extremely creeped out because it really did. I think out of all these series, because this is basically like an anthology series of different horror stories, which is really fun. So it's not just the one thing, it has little different stories within it. Out of all of these ones, I would have to say the first one was my favorite, the one about the puppets. It was beyond creepy and I just, I just loved it. It was great. So if you did pick this one up and you have read all these stories, let me know what your favorite one was. So that was all the comics I picked up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this comic book haul. Let me know what you picked up last week and this week. I'm always interested to hear what you're reading. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.